Hello everyone, I'm Brad Pope with the Memphis Tiger Network. We're on the road again, this time at the Sun Dome on the campus of USF, where the Tigers met the Bulls in an American Athletic Conference showdown on Tuesday night. In the first half, Asiana Fuqua Bay opened up the scoring for Memphis with the layup. Fuqua Bay led the Tigers in the first half scoring with eight points. Moments later, Ariel Hearn drained a three in what turned out to be a competitive first 10 minutes of play as the lead changed hands 11 times between the Tigers and Bulls. But the Tigers fell into foul trouble as four different Tigers picked up two fouls with Hearn heading to the bench after picking up three. USF led at the break 48-33 as senior Inga Orakova helped to push the Bulls ahead scoring 23 first half points. Memphis opened up the second half hitting five of its first six shots, trimming a deficit that threatened to go down to 20 to 58-44 instead. The Tigers used that hot start to cut the USF lead to 10 points two different times, but in the end, the Bulls got the win 91-68. Ariel Hearn led Memphis with 21 points on the night, while Asiana Fuqua Bay closed out the game with a double-double, racking up 12 points and 10 rebounds. Yeah, and I thought we were just um, undisciplined. Our first, our first foul on each one of our post players was just out of position, undisciplined, but it sure certainly changes um, how we have to play off of the bench and play with fatigue. And then, of course, Ariel and Bria both ended up with fouls in the first half as well. So. You know, but what we ran into tonight was a very aggressive, very athletic team. And uh, certainly Inga Orakova got hot from the three-point line and that put a lot of pressure on us right from the very beginning of the game. First 10 minutes of the game, I thought we were holding our own. We were competing. We were um, doing a great job of cleaning up rebounds, keeping them off the offensive glass and getting in transition. But then after uh, about the 10-minute mark in the first half, I felt like they started to go to the offensive glass. They got defensive rebounds, they got in defense, they got an offensive transition and, and that's kind of when the wheels came off. Memphis returns to action in their final regular season road game on Saturday, taking on conference foe Houston at 7 p.m. Central. For the Memphis Tiger Network, I'm Brad Pope.